Hello all, Aaron here. Just thought I'd make this quick video about the uh, Berthold Ball Factory. Uh, these are some of the improvements that I've found to be very reliable, um, on my version anyway. Um, this is a really amazing machine. Um, so I thank Berthold a lot for making the instructions free and doing all the hard work. I know it takes a lot of work to do instructions. Um, so, a big thanks to him. Anyway, so uh, the first thing I want to highlight is down here you've got the bucket unloader. Now, it's driven by this cranky. If I turn this around, I'll just disconnect the thing in the way. The position that it's in now is where it should be. This grey cam, which is normally yellow, should be 90 degrees like this should be like this and this should be vertical in the instructions it has this like that it's vertical at the same time so that this is actually vertical as well along with this so you need to turn this 90 degrees forward like it is now and then the bucket unloader unloads the buckets at the same time that the bucket uh, dumper goes down. So just as that goes down, that's, that just starts to go up. So, second thing, the bucket unloader itself. I've added an extra plate there. Uh, that's for to pick up the buckets a little bit better. And I know seeing Aki's video, and he has an extra plate there, so not a very hard change to do, but it allows it to pick up the buckets a lot smoother and a lot evenly uh, than before. So definitely a change worth doing. Which means with the conveyor, it needs to go back to this with the original uh, driver that was in the first version of the instructions. Otherwise, you'll get a queue up of buckets, or you can try to time it with the uh, with the stand, not with the conveyor from the new instructions. But it's quite tricky, so it's best to go back to the, the half speed and have the um, bucket just arriving, just so it touches this for about a second, and then the shifter goes along and moves the bucket. Um. So that's about it. The only other thing I can probably say is just this. Um, just add some more weight on the back here. That's where I had a little bit of issues here. And actually the bucket dumper design should be cheese wedges like that. Um, that's been the best arrangement. And I believe that's what our QG handle hints. I've never had any issues with that. That's just how it works, from on mine anyway. So, oh, hopefully, you have good luck in yours working. Um, these are some very uh, worthy changes, um, and I wish you luck getting your build working. Okay.